Hello everyone, welcome to Sharing Creations by Carrie. This video is a what did I make with these pieces? Got some pearlescent paper, you've got some basic white cardstock, got a card base. I played last night and I want to show you that this was stickers, acetate, whatever they're called. I call them stickers, no matter what the backing is, unless they're washing and you can see through them. <laughs> call me a newbie. <laughs> but I had gotten two packs, or three packs, pink set, blue set, and the purple set. And it came with holographic, sheet of holographic hearts in each one. So when you move it, the hearts move. And I'd picked the paper that was in the set and just put the holographic sheet on top and then put it through the die cutting machine. And I made some pretty cards. So when the and this is the die set. So it cuts out the outer and then it cuts out the hearts in the center too. So you have to cut it multiple times if you want to get the the outside to be one color and the hearts to be another. So that's what I did. So this is the these are both cut out of these sticker sheets. Which made it super easy to lay down onto the cardstock. I liked that part. Much easier than gluing. So there's something to the double sided tape using that to cut your dies out, stick it on your paper, and then cut your dies out. There's something to that. And I've seen people do it. It's pretty smart. It makes it so that you don't have to put the 50 million little glue dots from your glue bottle. And then the reversal of these stickers is the hearts cut up the center of these. And I cut it again with the basic white cardstock. So that I could take the white hearts and place them on the sticker one, the sticker frame. And these are stickers and these are just the basic cardstock, the white outside frame. And then I had taken, where is it? Piece of pearl, white pearl paper and cut out four sets of bows and place them on a pre-made card base. I absolutely love these cards. I went into my um, sentiment um, stamp and die set and just pulled out four different ones to add a sentiment to the card. I have not done the inside yet. I made these with intent to hand out to my new co-workers. So, I absolutely love these cards. I think they are so pretty. Simple. Yet, has a pop and a bang of pretty. <laughs> uh, I had my words all planned out. They went out the window. <laughs> I've been working on these all night. And the first part of my night was also another project, which I'll show you in a second. But um, placing the hearts in the right location 
so that they didn't look like there was a bunch of gaps and like they puzzle piecing it back together. But the paper gets stretched out a little bit, so when you're taking it off the back of the die, you gotta try not to stretch the paper in any way. So you won't end up with spaces when you place your hearts in them. And it's really thin, so that paper can stretch very easily. Um, Yeah, I actually really like these. I think they're super pretty. And sets of cards that I actually really like. And these could be really cute in a, in a set, a gift set. Possibly with different bows. Or wrapped with a bow. With a envelope to go with it. Because it is a little thick on the uh, curved bow. Or you could put a different bow. So it would be flat. And you do a gift set with these. Off of one die. One die set. So I'm pretty excited about those. <clears throat> I was going to make more. It just took so long to do those. So I played some more. This is what I started my evening on is making some more cups and this is the green um watercolor or green i think it's called green watercolor or something like that but i had picked out two images and this one is a cross it has faith family love hope with the heart in the middle the heart had little pieces that it cut out by the time I got to that heart, I was over chasing little pieces. This was not easy to weed out. I'm noticing a lot of the image people pick when they do the little reel videos, the shorts, that they're picking images that don't have little pieces to it. I understand why, but I still like the image that I picked. On days like this, I am reminded that we are blessed. These little E's did not cut out really good, so I had to cut them out myself. I had to make pieces to put in there. And because this paper was so light colored, I was so worried that I was not going to get the right side of the paper so the back side of it has a shine to it so thankfully I was able to try to keep an eye on that but it's I think it came out pretty good they did the small ripped edge again and I think these the ripped edge is making it look crooked for me anyway and the handle on this one is crooked too so, there you go. So, the combination of the ripped edge and the handle not being straight, which I didn't go off of. I mean, I kind of did as far as looked at the, the base right here to the edge and the base right here to the edge for spacing. At least I tried to, but I focused more on the top and the bottom. But... Uh, I want to make sure that it's that it's not too far over to the left or too far over to the right. Looks like a little a little bit over here, but I think again, I think that has to do with the handle not being straight. Because this was on there flat. There is no ghosting. So my ghosting prevention is getting a lot better. Um, so I think the handle is making it really difficult. So if I was going to sell this, it it would bother me for the fact that there's not an even space between these. So. 
the manufacturer, but people would think it was me. So, I don't know. There's a possibility of that. I would like to sell these at some point, I think, and kind of match them with a card set. That was an idea thrown out there for me. So that would be a nice, cute gift set that somebody could give. Um, a set of cards with a mug that matches. I don't know. Kind of seems like a neat idea, though. Or I can do a set of four. I don't know. It's in the works of the brain, though. And here's the other one. Rescue Mom. Because I've rescued all my babies. And I've rescued kitties. And I've rescued doggies. Also rescued birds. Which you you can hear them right now. I forget. I just enjoy their, their talking. So I don't notice it when I do videos as much. But I've played back some of the videos. And I was like. Boy, they was really stinging up a storm today. So they must want me to go in there and talk to them. <laughs> but I heard them today, so I know you're hearing them. But I rescued, I have two cockatiels, and I rescued both of them. But I put this image on a shirt, and I thought it would be cute to put on my mug because I have... My hands wrapped around my babies, kitty and doggy, and I've rescued them both. So this one has the small rib ridged edge. I'm noticing that there's a couple of spots that have some imperfections, but I still think it came out nice. And then there's, I found some infections. This cricket gave me some damaged cups. Like the machine grabbed it or something, or the tong, they tonged it or something when it wasn't done being fired. <clears throat> but I have to remember, even the machine, it's not perfect. So therefore, I think my cup turned out pretty stinking good. So now I have five cups. Three more cups. I don't know what I'm going to put on those. Um, this one was such a challenge to weed that I don't think I'm going to do one anymore this week. And I'm going to take some time to think about it. For the next three. So. I have still an ultraviolet purple color. Um, infused ink sheet. So that's going to be my next one. I just don't know what I'm going to put on it yet. So who knows. <laughs> but. I wanted to share what I. Worked my butt off on last night. And if you happen to have this die, you can make it look nice with whatever pick paper you choose. I did blue ones before, which are probably going to be for my husband and my son. If I actually hand them out, that would be nice. I, I am making a promise to myself that I might actually hand these out. Because I'm so mad at myself for not handing out Christmas ones. After all of those that I made, I didn't hand out. So I am guaranteeing I am handing these out this, for this holiday. Valentine's Day. So. I think I'm going to make a few more Valentine's ones. Uh, at least three more. For co-workers. And I think 
I think that's all I have to hand out to people around. So, I don't know, maybe I'll work on doing a giveaway set. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> okay, so I really need to go to bed because now I'm like slow talking and babbling. <laughs> well, thanks for watching. And. I will catch you on the next one. Thanks. Bye.